<sighs> All right, this needs to be addressed now. What's happening, world? It's your man, Shadosh the Fly Guy, aka the dude with the shirt on his head. I got something interesting to talk about yet again. This this actual discussion is inspired by my man, True Hood. We was on Xbox Live talking about this, man. This needs to be addressed. Now, before I get on to this little rant slash vlog, let me first off give you guys a disclaimer. All right, I don't care what you guys think about me. I don't want to say it like that, but like my opinions are my opinions, and I'm going to say what's on my mind. So, uh... If you don't like it, I'm always open for debate, but don't try to change my mind. Because what I say is final. Word is law. With that being said, let me get out there straight that this may not... No, forget that. It's, it, this applies to everybody. Everybody. Oh, man. I can already tell this is going to be a long discussion. So, let's just kick back. Pop over your favorite drink. Let's get to talking. Now, I was watching some old videos, looking at some old CGS clips and some other competitive um, gaming clips, and I see a lot of segregation going on. And I tried to do a little bit of research and see what that's about. Like, why do we have these divisions, or why is it like, you know, a male, female side, an amateur, pro, like, what's what's with that? And um, I just, I guess it just comes down to standards. I notice a lot of people just, just straight out suck. And like that inspired me to do this little discussion because I'm like, at, I got to the point where I'm like so sick and tired right now. Like I always hear about, oh, uh, well, we were playing this league and we would do this stuff, but uh, this, this, and that. And it's like, man, if you can't meet the standards of your competitive field, you pretty much suck. I mean, that's not to say you can't get better or whatever, but I mean, it's come to the point where like, I mean, you know what's expected of you and you know where you should be at. If you can't get there for whatever reason, I mean, that's your own problem. Don't blame other people. Don't get into all of this riffraff about, oh, uh, well, duh. All right, I'll give you a good example. I hear this a lot. I know a lot of women are gonna be mad at me, and um, sorry, but I really don't care. Um, I hear a lot, this isn't all women, but this is like those radical groups. You know what I'm talking about? You know, the ones that are like really stern on female gaming and just females in general. To all those ladies out there that feel like they don't get any credit with their gaming abilities because, you know, they're girls and blah, blah, blah. Shut the hell up. Look at me. I said that. Yes, I just said that. The reason why you guys don't get that much respect, believe it or not, is because you guys just can't keep up. It's not all of you. Most of you. Like, I've seen a... Oh, my gosh. I almost cursed. But I've seen a lot that who have actually played at these tournaments where there's a mass amount of men there like whatever it is get topped they don't have to get number one they got top they got up there and they're known for that and then there's this group of people who just like cry because oh we're girl gamers we don't get all this credit you get credit if you stop crying so much too. i mean it sounds like a difficult thing to do but i know players in my field like i play fighting games and i know people i know women in my field that dominate even the best of guys I've seen it happen. It's on TV. I've, I can name names if I have to, but I shouldn't have to. You can look through my friends list. Most of the people on my list, if not all of them, can demolish me in my favorite game. So, I mean, what is there to say? Now, when I look at a list of people who are considered like, you know, like good gamers or whatever, I always look at like statistics and records, and, you know, things of that nature. Just because, you know, like you can't say you're in this par if there's no proof, like nobody's going to believe you. And I hear a lot. OK, like um, I can't think of any names off the head, but I know there's a couple of groups out there that claim to be there, like, you know, really good at something. And they go to these tournaments. Like, okay, you go to tournaments. I'm glad you're in a competitive field. I actually respect that. But don't claim to be good just because you go to tournaments. I know a lot of bad people that go to tournaments. I mean, they bark all this noise. They talk all this crap. And then they don't even place top eight. It's like, really? Like, if you're going to be considered a pro gamer, at least get yourself in that, you know, that top bracket or something like that. Then some people will respect you and give you the credit you deserve. Now, personally... I mean, I guess I'm not one to talk. No, I can say that because you know what? I don't I don't go around boasting and bragging about what I do. People ask me, like people see me at tournaments and I laugh because they always see me as the guy that's lurking, you know, the one that's just moving around and all that stuff. But, but the truth is I am playing games and I'm doing what I have to do. I'm not making any unnecessary noise. If any buzz is on me, it's because somebody put it there, not because of me. 
So, I mean, last time I went to a VF tournament, I did place top eight. So, I mean, that's pretty good, for at least for the turnout. But, I mean, that was nothing I wanted to brag about. Like, I'll make noise when I'm in first place. You know what I mean? But I know my standards and I know my stuff. So, even in that respect, I know where I'm at. So, I said that I suck. You know? I mean, I know I can get better, but that's the reason why I say I suck. I'm like, okay, this is the standard. This is where I need to be. The problem with the people going to these tournaments and all this other stuff, or just competitive gamers in general, is that they won't admit that they suck. You suck. Get that in your freaking heads. Dead all this dumbass, like, segregation crap, because you know what all that really does for you is just keep you in that realm of suck. I mean, you can't segregate suck. If you suck, you suck. You're going to suck in this bracket, that like, okay, you put yourself in some kind of bracket because you wanted to get top eight. That's pathetic because you know what that does to you? That just hurts your gaming. Say you wanted to play in, like, okay, say you're playing in your little locals or whatever. You're playing in some, um, I don't know, some, some land party gaming convention thing and you always place top in your bracket. Cool, fine, dandy, but you're only top in, like, your area. That's not even your region. That's just, like, one little area. So when it comes to go to the stuff like the majors, you're never going to qualify because you're not going to get better. You're going to say, oh, well, I'm the best in my area. I can do this here. But you're going to big. You're gonna boast yourself as somebody who's a top competitor when, in reality, you're gutter trash. Like, you can't keep up with the norm. You can keep up with your crowd, but your crowd is not the norm. You're below the bar. You're not even at the bar. You're not at the bar. You're below the bar. So that's not going to do anything for you. You know what I mean? Like, step your game up. Just play. Don't brag. Don't boast. Just play. Play and win. They'll talk about you. You don't have to make any noise. I don't care how big your faction is. I don't care what your beliefs and your standings are. At the end of the day, when it comes to this, that's when it matters. So shut up and play. Because you suck.